It's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue here for today's crafting adventure. Hello, hello to everyone. Um, it's early here. Nobody's awake. Actually, Ohm was awake and he, he uh, fed the guinea pigs and the dogs for me. So I thought that was great. But mom's still sleeping. And it is Juneteenth. So I wanted to acknowledge that. Our, that's our newest holiday, Juneteenth, which is for, um, let's see, the Tulsa, I think it's Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, is where they first found out that the abolition of slavery occurred. So it was June 19th. So they call it Juneteenth. So, um, good morning, and I hope you're all enjoying this beautiful day. Uh, good morning to all my friends. There's Leslie, Brenda, Elizabeth, Barbara, Bren, um, and let's see who else is here. Do we have, oh, Ardeen. Hi, Ardeen. How are you? So, good morning, good morning. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a federal holiday now, Cheryl. I don't know. I might be wrong. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you this fun card that I made for my little um, cousin uh, who's getting married. So uh, she is the grand, let's see, she's the granddaughter of my favorite aunt. Um, oh, it's only in 37 states. Oh, thanks. Okay, hi, Betsy. Hi, welcome. Hi, Leslie. Um, okay, so this is actually a card, even though it's a 3D thing, and it's in the shape of a retro or a vintage stove. It even has a really cute tea kettle on there, you see, and then it has the four burners, and when it's time to send it along or put in an envelope, you just, you carefully press these down and you can fit this into an envelope. There's a part in the back that you can write a little inscription on, which I did. And I chose, and I wanted to show you this too. Look at the little oven here. There's a little piece that I'm missing that I wanted to show you. Now I started using, these are brads, colored brads, you see, but they are kind of too big there. So I found these. These are enamel dots from, I think I kept the paper, I don't know where it's, they're from Echo Park. And um, I bought them when they were on sale and these, they come in all different colors, but I thought this, this color set really matched. So I thought today I'd show you how to put this together. And rather than do it again in green, I decided to do it in pink. Um, and if you're wondering where I found this, I did get this at SVG Cut. So I'm going to change and just go up here to my... Um, Thank you, Cheryl. Two years to get the information to Galveston, Texas, that the slaves were free. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for that clarification. So um, this is this card is from SVG Cuts, which is, they've been around for a long time. Um, the woman, the designer, her name is Mary, has, she won a, an award from Martha Stewart way back. Um uh, for a carousel that she made. So um, it is part of a grouping of, of images called World's Best Mom SVG Kit. You see that here? And there it is right there. But you can purchase it separately because if you don't like the other images there, which they're adorable, but if you just want to do this one card, um, it's pretty simple to just buy it. Um, you just would go ahead and do a search. I actually, I think what I did was a box stove to find the individual. No, this happened. This did not work out well for me. Um, let's see, box card. 
and when I did box cards, it came up on the individual purchase, okay? So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time about how to download this because most of you guys know how to do that. Um, but I just wanted you to see all these lovely, lovely images. Now this cost, if you wanna buy it, I think it's $2.99 and it is somewhere here. I did put the link in the description, so I'm having trouble finding it right now. And then, of course, we took and we brought the image in, or I brought the image in with um, the original colors and cut it all out with my machine. Um, I chose to use white for this off-white. And I used like a chrome paper that I got at Michael's to make this. And then for the main portion, I used a seafoam green, but then I switched to pink. And then I wanted to point this out. This part here, this even though it looks very similar in color, is what's going to be cut out in your patterned paper, as well as these two here. But I chose different, I chose two different papers to cut this out. And then these are just plain pieces that go on the back and inside of the card. Okay, so let's start off by um, having a look having a look at the main pieces. So I separated all of these out by color and stuff. So these are the main pieces. So there are three inserts in this card. I actually cut out enough for two. So I'm just gonna take, and you'll see here that there are numbers on here. See this? <laughs> I know, right? Usually do, I don't know, maybe I'm just tired or something. Yesterday I was super tired and I just kinda like, did laundry all day. So yes, you usually do get um, a history lesson from me. So, um, okay, so just so you can see, um, the I'm gonna put this number here so you can see it. Like, see this says one right here, and this one's three, and this one's two. It's super helpful to know that before we put it together. So these are the three inserts that we're gonna put in. And then these are the, um, the the box the actual box card so um let me just tell you about a little bit about box cards so i think the undisputed queen of box cards is Lori Whitlock. I think she's the one that kind of first came up with the sort of idea of making a card that can fold, but it, it unfolds into a box. And it's easily done by creating um, pieces that fold together. So these are our two main pieces. There's the front, you see, and we'll, we're going to wear all the score lines and we're going to score everything before we go ahead and uh, start putting it together. You'll see why. Um, and then we're going to just kind of score, make sure you get all those scores. And I kind of like to put these together Bef like put all the little doodads and stuff on them before I actually go and um, and put it together. It seems to me the easiest way, but so that you can see there's the front and the side, right? And let's go ahead to the next one. Now I did try, I was, oops, that one doesn't get folded. I did try to make um, this uh, hexagon card with a kitchen mixer, which I love those KitchenAid mixer um, cards, but it I had a little trouble with the direction, so I think I'll try to figure that out and show you that. That came from my scrap check. Okay, and so here's the back. This is actually the back. There's no fold there, and this is the side, so it looks like a box, right? Doesn't have a pilot light. <laughs> There's some pretty, it does have the clock. Um, see this here? This is supposed to be where the clock was. Um, that's where the clock is, and I'll show you that. You can decide if you want to put the clock on. So today I'm using this glue. I really like it, and I found it um, uh, among my stash. When I lost the pin to my, <laughs> to my glue, I said, oh, I'll try this Tombow aqua um, it's called mono liquid glue it goes on and it dries clear which is important for one part of this okay so um, what we're gonna do is line up here so remember we're creating a box this is the front 
that's going to be side back side so we're going to attach these together just going to use this uh, tab that we're given here um, and really just do a good job of attaching it right on the line otherwise it might be a little difficult to get your box card to actually fold um, and get into the envelope so you can see here it's really nice and lined up same over here you'll notice it's like kind of a little cutout so that it accommodates the the oven and so let's go ahead and put some glue on this tab so yeah, I went to a bridal shower. I haven't been to one in so long. And uh, it just was so nice to see all the pretty girls. And there were a lot of pregnant people there too. I guess it's just kind of that season for uh, for that age of the kid. So, just so uh, it was just fun. Anyway, um, here is, this is where you're going to be putting your um, little dots on there after we put the chrome bar. So let's get the chrome pieces out. And um, here is the chrome bar. You see? Hi, Ardeen, how are you? I know. I actually don't have a doctor's appointment today. I think it's because of the holiday. So it's on Wednesday, but it's on Wednesday afternoon. So I think I actually might be able to come back on on Wednesday afternoon. I also made a recipe box, which was really cute. Um, and that was from Lori Whitlock. If you guys want to see how that was assembled, there was no, there were no instructions on that. So, um, and with SVG cuts, they don't give a whole lot of instruction. They do show you all the pieces and there is a printout that they do with each one, but I could not find my printout. So, um, so this is the part where we're going to, just so you can kind of see what we're doing. So this is the part where we're going to um, open it up. And you see, this is where the controls were. They used to be right here in the front until they figured out it was a fire hazard and they couldn't, they couldn't keep it there. All right, so let's see, where's our other chrome piece? Our other chrome piece is this. And you'll notice it has two on each side, two little score marks on each side. So you're gonna um, score them both on both sides like this. And then you're going to put this side out because you want it to have a dimension. So this is how you do it, just like that, you see? And it's gonna go on here. Um, and we do need the little piece that goes on the front there. So let's see if we can find that before we put on that metal part. So here is the front piece. You can use either side. I kind of like the contrast of the green. So I think that's what I'll use for this one. Um, and there you go. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on here. Again, we're doing kind of like all the work and then we'll, you know, like kind of assemble the card and it will just be so much easier for us to go ahead and um, put any other things we might have forgotten on there. So there is, there's the oven door. And then here is the handle. Now you notice these are holes in here. So, which is what got me thinking, maybe I should put brads in, but I guess my brads were just too big. So, which is why I switched to um, those dots. Those enamel dots. All right. So I'm going to match this up with the holes like this. Um, so as I was saying, you know, like I think Lori, undisputed queen of, um, of box cars, she kind of started it, but Mary takes them all to a new, Mary from SVG Cuts, takes them to an entirely different level. The level of detail on them are just amazing. And this is one of the examples, just one. There's some pretty amazing ones in there. And again, most of them... <laughs> Quiet, 
and all of a sudden you have to get all what did you get all that way sorry guys early morning and I'm like still sleepy and stuff like that so uh, um, okay so on the sides here are cutouts that um, I did cut out in the pattern paper as I mentioned so this is the pattern paper I chose um, one has these three little whole, these three little circles there, which I suppose you could put an embellishment on. And the other one is just plain. Hey, I want you to stop that. I want you to stop that. Yeah, listen to me. I am your mother. You listen to me. <laughs> Anybody know that song? I love it. Megan Trainer. No, I gave you I gave you cookies when you were acting bad. Why would I give you cookies now? I just gave you some. I am your mother. You listen to me. <laughs> this, she's from Massachusetts, actually. I think she might be from Nantucket, uh, which is one of two uh, bigger islands that are here in Massachusetts. All right, so these flaps are just decorative, but aren't they cute? So there's our flaps. And then what else do we have to put on here before we move on to the inserts? Well, we gotta put the back on. So the back consists of this piece that I cut out in a different shade of pink. Yes, what do you want? You want cookies, I know, but you can't be arguing. It's not healthy. Owen and I were having a conversation about, because, um, you know, he's going to be leaving. And, oh, I don't know, it's like a week or so, um, just a little over a week or something, that he's going to be leaving for New Hampshire. And we were discussing which of the two dogs would fend well <laughs> with my sister's uh, army of labrador retrievers they are so many and they're big um and we figured benji would be the argumentative one and teddy bear would be more of the i just want to sit here with my mother i'm fine um don't don't bother me <laughs> that sort of thing he he's not to be bothered with um and the only thing he likes to chase are the chickens so uh I don't know. They're they're pretty rough and tumble, these dogs. Kind of crazy. And we've actually been talking about what's a place that we can stay um, when we go up to visit, especially with my mom, because I think the dogs would sort of knock her over. And so um, we have located a place we're going to probably move, uh, not move up there, but... Uh, you stay up there when we stay up there we'll stay up in they they call all their houses by the color of the the original color of the house and she has one called a blue house she has a green house um and so we're gonna fix up that that blue house which is right on the river so that mom can go up and visit annette without being you know knocked over laid waste by those dogs so but yeah so okay so remember in the back of the this is what the old-fashioned um the old-fashioned stoves had it's like a little it's where we put our bars now but um here look it's a cute little thing this is supposed to be the clock now, if you have really good handwriting, you could maybe put like little thing there. I'll show you what I did. I, I have nice handwriting, but not small enough. So I'll show you what I did uh, at the end. Okay, so here we go. Like this. Now this here on the back is where you put your, you could stamp something or put a greeting on there. And then you see, like right here, there's only one other piece that needs to go on. It's um, it's right here. I don't know if I should put it on first or last. I think I might try to put it on before we assemble the rest. It's sort of to hide the mechanism of the inside of the card. 
Um, so I suppose if you wanted to put something in there, that'd be kind of funny uh, and clever. So if you're like that, you can come up with something to put inside the oven. A little picture or something, or put even a turkey that you cut out or something. <laughs> it's funny. But I like that she gives the, this opportunity to have it open, but yet you can't see the inside of the mechanism of the card. Okay. So we did most everything except for the dots here. So that's our main card, just like that. It's a box, it folds, We're gonna easily mail it, okay? And then let's have a look at our pieces for the insert. So we have this one, which is one. It's possible that I could have put that pink right here. I don't know. But so this is one, you see it has tabs on either side and then you've got these sort of half circles. So bend those over. Same here for the teapot and here for um, the third piece here. Okay. So for the burners, I cut out these little uh, circles uh, in chrome, you see? Like this, and then they have on top of that these the the grates, the gates, great, I don't know what they're called. But this is where the burners, this is where you cook your food on the on the stovetop, right? And there are four. So let's get our four pieces. Now with these they're very, very tiny. So um, this is why I liked this glue because it dries clear. So what I'm gonna do is just try to get the smallest little dot on around there. I'm not gonna go crazy with the glue, just, just a little bit. And then very carefully, because you don't wanna smudge the um, circle because it, it smudges badly when you use glue. We're gonna just like lay it on top of that circle and try not to move it around like I'm doing. Now, if this is too difficult for you to do, just this one's a little off base. Okay, and so if it's too difficult for you to do, you might need something like this. This is like a, they call it a precision pickup and placement tool, it's by the We Are Company. Um, and so what we would do is we'd put, still put the glue on there, you know? And, let's see. If this is easy for you, you would pick it up just to make it easier for placement sort of thing. You wouldn't get it all over your card. But as you can see, a lot of detail in her cards. You'll notice that with other things, if you ever buy any of her box cards. Um, just, I really love them. They're so unique. The Christmas ones are amazing. So where's our third and fourth one here? And I was really surprised at how beautifully this cut on a medium setting. Isn't that cool? So, um, let's do that again. We need four. And again, not too much glue, but you may have to, I don't know, flatten it like this. So that way it stays on all the way and you don't get too many smears. But it just takes practice. So there we go. There's our third one. Now I did close up our box, but I wanted to show you uh, a way to put these together without closing up the box. So, um, so I did cut out two, just so you can see, all right? So there's three, and there's our fourth one. Same with the tea kettle. So here's the tea kettle. Uh, very small, you wanna be very careful. Is a tendency to put too much glue. So try your best to do at the least amount of glue that you can, okay? Uh, just enough for it to stick and you don't wanna 
put a lot of pressure with your fingers on it or it will um, it will sort of lift up and then if the glue comes squirting out like right here you don't want to use your fingers to remove it and it's okay to just sort of let it dry like that and it will dry clear so you don't have to worry about that too much so these little dots that have the glue don't try to wipe them off okay and then we've got our um, tea kettle which because I cut this in pink I cut this one in blue so we're going to glue that on get it on all these little tiny pieces here so it sticks real well all right All right, I want to try to match it up so you don't see the pink. There you go. Okay, so now these have been given a little bit of time to dry. So we're going to put them on here only halfway. All right, so my advice for that is to go ahead and put the glue on the actual piece that it's going on rather than on the circle piece, the half circle piece we're going to put it on. So... That was the last one I did. So here is this one. We're gonna put it right there. Press it down. And you see it's not quite dry yet, but you see how it has that. That's how it is able to fold down. Box, I felt this is probably where I fell in love with my cutting machine. Um was box cards <laughs> and in fact actually gave a little class on making box cards as well and uh, that was in utah when we went to a make-a-thon hosted by cricket so it was a lot of fun and to prepare for that i made i think it was like 50 box cards i've told you this story before and I made all of these box cards to show people how many of them exist, including outside of Cricut Design Space. Because at that time, there was only like one set of box cards in Cricut Design Space. So that, that were um, created by Lori Whitlock, which if you don't want to buy things, you, you would need to buy it. But it's in Design Space and it's probably cheaper to buy it in design space or I don't know. I like to buy yeah, SVGs and I don't necessarily make them all the time. <laughs> all right, so we've got our three pieces and they're drying, which is good. And again, you see that these numbers are here. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna reopen this box because I wanna show you one way to do this. Now, one way to do this the first way to do it is you would just fold these and put these inside and glue them to the side, which is okay. That will work. It's a little awkward. Um, but the other way that I figured out in that time that I was making all those box cards, I'm just looking for the seam here. There, there's a seam. I'm going to open this up on the seam. Might need to... Um, use my knife here to open it up on the seam. So one way to do it is to just hand piece it in. You know what, I'm not going to open this one, but I'll show you on this one. Um, is instead of, let's just do the side pieces. So instead of just closing it up, before you close it up, I would suggest that you just do one side. So you have a big, long strip like this, right? And then you'd still do all the decorating and everything. So this is one of those, if you like to do box cards and you get to be making a lot of them, which I did that particular year, is I figured out a different way. So, um, so the way that I came up with, so this is the front, let's see here, but blue's not quite dry, right? 
as long as you can kind of figure out which side is which, right? Okay, stay like that, all right? And this is uh, the back right here. So what you can do is you can go ahead and put your pieces like this on inside before you go ahead and close it up. Okay, so that's one way, one way to do it. It's not, oh my God, everybody's walking their dog. Hey! All right, you guys. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so um, that is one way to do it. Can you please, no, please, no? All right, otherwise, this is, sort of the standard way. So we have them at three, two, one. I work from uh, the back to the front and I use these tabs to show me how much distance I need between each tab. So I'm gonna put glue right here on, on each side and I'm gonna kind of fold it in a little bit and try not to get the glue all over my fingers. And then I'm going to line up the third, this is the third tab, remember, so it's the back. And I'm gonna line it up all the way to the back of that square part of the box. Just like this. Now, as you're doing this, wait for your glue to dry a little bit. You want to kind of keep your card in motion to make sure you're gonna be able to close it. Okay, don't worry about this just yet. And then on comes the uh, the teapot, tea kettle. And you see here, we're going to put it so that it abuts the front of number three tab. And this will help us with lining it up. So again, you just kind of fold these tabs in and then we're going to very gently using our fingers, set them, try to get as, as straight as possible and as close as possible to that tab. And then once you know it's dry a little bit, you can just kind of give it a fold to make sure it just really is pressed in there, okay? And then the third one goes I'm sorry, this is number one, but it's the third one we're putting in. So it goes here, you see? So let's go ahead and put some, I don't know why this is bigger or longer than the other ones. I, I think it has something to do with that piece, but I couldn't figure out where she wanted me to put that piece. So I decided to put it in the front there. So there we go, I'm gonna put this in. And again, I'm gonna set it so that and I might have to lift this up a little bit, but um, I'm gonna set it so that it sort of touches the front of the second tab. It feels like it's not quite, let me just fold it and see. Oh yes, it's getting there, you see? All right, and fold it the other way. And then when you when you open it up, these little burners are like that. So giving the illusion that the teapot is on the burner. Isn't that cute? And we just have a few more little details to go, including our, um, our tiny little dots for here where the knobs are, and then here in the back where the clock is, and then we can even put two small ones here. So let's pick. Um, we can probably do the green. I think the green would work. Let's put the biggest dot right here. That. And we use these tiny, tiny ones for the front. Let's fold this so that... All right, so there are these two openings or holes there so I'm going to what did I use I think I used my they're adhesive but you may want to put a little bit of glue on them not really sure if you're gonna need to they're pretty adhesive 
And of course you can use rhinestones for this. You don't have to use these little, um, these little enamel dots. I just happened to find them and they worked with what I was working with. Now the, the paper that I used, um, so what do we, do you think we should put different colors there? Yeah, why not? Um, so the paper that I used was from Echo Park Paper Company. I'm gonna show it to you when we're almost done, okay? Uh, let's put this one here. Come on, move over. All right. And I'm going to take this one. Put this one here. So again, you could use brads, but I would recommend small brads. So on my original one, uh, <gasps> <sighs> Betsy, that's fabulous. I never thought of that. Betsy, oh, awesome. Yeah, you don't often find really good directions for any of the projects, and I don't understand that because um, do you just make it so people can ooh and awe ah over it? Like you don't want anybody, it reminds me of Dick Van Dyke show that, that came out in the 60s where Millie had wanted to share her special recipe for I don't know what. And she left out the mustard. Does anybody remember that? She left out the mustard on the recipe. That looks cute. Probably should have lined them up a little bit better. Betsy's suggesting that maybe this little piece right here that we put in there for the oven and which now I can't open the oven because I don't know, I put too much glue in there. But maybe make that piece acetate to see what's inside, which I think is fabulous, Betsy. What a great idea. The only other thing here is the clock. So what I did with the clock, and maybe it was kind of hokey, um, is that I took my as fine a pen as I had and then I just put like the 12 o'clock on the top like this. And then three, six, nine, like that. And then, I don't know, three o'clock seems like a happy time. So I'm gonna put little arrows here and here. If you have a different idea on how this, please share it with everybody. Um, so, and then I put a little dot on the inside. So I didn't do it for this particular one. So let's go ahead and choose, I don't know, yellow. Yellow would be nice. All right. Okay. And that is the completed stove, antique stove, vintage, vintage, antique, I don't know, um, stove box card from SVG Cuts put together. Now, don't get upset with yourself if you mess up. It's just wanted to tell you um, that, first of all, I've done this card a couple of times before, and even then, I um, cut out an extra one. This was the extra one that I cut out, and you see, I made so many little weirdo mistakes that um, that I was able to kind of figure out where it is. I do find that directions for anybody, with the exception of Dreaming Tree, because he does such an amazing job of that, um, is that instructions are pretty lacking um, on these projects. So I don't know what to tell you, except if you want to see more of them or specific ones, let me know because I will do them and take all the guesswork out of it for you. And then lastly, this is what I used for the pattern paper. It is, oh no, it's not Echo Park. It's Cartabella Summer Market. And it, it, this is called a collection kit. Okay, now you can buy these oh, at scrapbook stores. Joanne's and Michael's don't carry them. I don't know if Hobby Lobby does. But basically, you are you get this front page that shows you all the different things. Um, they've changed these up over the years and give you less, which, mm, okay, shrinkflation or something. But anyway, you get these lovely papers that are both sides. You see? 
And then you also get a sticker sheet. So if we wanted to do something with a sticker sheet, um, <laughs> everything good, everything magical happens between the months of June and August. <laughs> I love it. But, um, yeah, so, you know, if we wanted to use this, on the back or whatever you have this sticker sheet these collection kits were designed for people who make uh, scrapbooking but i found that they are really helpful uh because they're all color coordinated like look at how pretty this is all color coordinated so these are called collection kits i buy them uh when they're on sale and i have a bunch here that i just got in that i'll show you um, this one's one of my favorites. This is like a vintage Christmas one. Um, this is also by Cardabella. It's got a real vintagey feel to the, look at the stickers. Aren't they great? Like 1950s sort of thing. And then this, they sell like a gingham. Um, there's another Christmas one here. This one I thought was cute, fun on the farm. And then of course we've got our 4th of July. Look at that, that one's so cool with all of those. Really cute farmhouse kitchen. So there's a lot to choose from. So if you have a certain event that you're planning for, like if you wanted to have a 4th of July party, one of these kits could make quite a few. If you co combine it with like white paper and red and blue, and you use this for the embellishment. I don't like to use a lot of pattern paper. Um, I just like to use little little bits so i don't use them for the foundation pieces but i do use them for this air this area um oh oh i don't know marlene um the holes on the side flaps i don't know i think that they're supposed to just be like decorative or something oh maybe i'm wrong but you could put like a little sticker there. So anyway, that is our our stove. I love the idea of uh, Betsy's of putting like a piece of acetate and cutting that out. I think I'll try that. And I have one more to go. But wouldn't someone, I'm just thinking of my aunties who would just adore receiving this. And, um, and I just think it's just such a pick me up and you can put it right on that windowsill right above the stove, right above the sink. Um, and it's just, it's so clever and she really does a great job. So again, this design came from SVG cuts. You do need to purchase it. Um, I can't give it to you. It's not in design space. So you would go to svgcuts.com. And let me just show you that up here, right? And you can see over here, if you go home and you look on the right-hand side and you choose box cards, you'll see she has stuff for Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, Valentine's Day. Um, what else does she have? A lot of Christmas stuff. Oh, this Thanksgiving one is to die for. Let me show you this one. So this one has one of my favorite ones, which is this. It's the turkey with all of the, isn't it gorgeous? It even has a little lace tablecloth and you put it together. And I think it would make a fabulous invitation for Thanksgiving. Um, it's just really a pretty card. Um, and then I think from the, from the uh, Christmas ones, my favorites are let me see if I can find my favorites. Oh, this one's adorable too, this princess castle. Um, so there's quite a, a lot of different things. Look at these beautiful spring cards, summer. Uh, she even has a box of French fries and a taco truck. I mean, just really fun. Halloween, look at the bee scap. Um, and the, my favorite Christmas ones, I must have missed them. Oh, these ones here. These are my favorite ones. And they're so simple, and yet they're just stunning. Like, I love this gingerbread house one. So, that is what, um, 
Oh, they had half price. So let me also show you because the place where I do buy this paper stuff is um, from Echo Park. And if you go to the Echo Park Outlet dot com, they have always a bunch of sales here going on. So just wait for it because they sort of cycle through. Right now they're having this promotion where you can buy single sheets. So if you, for instance, fell in love with this lemon or look at the, uh, are these strawberries? Please tell me they're strawberries. Oh, they're ladybugs. Oh, how cute. Oh, how cute. Oh, I love it. So you can buy, you know, quantities of this. So if you're somebody that likes to make cards and maybe you can sell them locally, this is a good way if you have a certain card you want to make a bunch of to sort of make sure you always have the right the right um, paper, the, the paper that you chose originally. And then also they often will have uh, sales on the collection kit. And so you come up here to shop and you can go to collections, Echo Park or Cartabella. Let's go to Cartabella and they'll show you all of the collections. So if you know, sometimes you go to the to the hobby store and you can only find one or two. So if you're looking for the full complement here, you can find them here. And often they are on sale. But if you buy them when they're not on sale, they're about 16 bucks. Okay. I think that's it. Let's do a Christmas one. Um, I'm just checking the notes. So the VW van. Oh, you want to do a VW van? Um, or a Christmas one. So, um, so we, if you want, if you like this and you kind of want to know what, what to do, then there you go. The other one that I was going to show you, um, is this one from my scrap chick, but I'll tell you, I had such a hard time with it that I had to put it down because it's supposed to be, um, like kind of like a pop-up and I just messed up and I was running late and I'm like, ah, I can't do it. So, um, maybe that will be the next one. This is from my scrap chick and I think it's, uh, part of their dollar event. So if you haven't seen my scrap chick, then uh, check that out and then we'll do something fourth of july is coming so we'll have to do a fourth of july project as well okay christmas in july yeah why not we can do christmas in july so um i hope you enjoyed this and i really appreciate you coming today and i hope that you subscribe to my channel if not please subscribe. I am actually less than 500 people away from 25,000, which I, I told you I'm not going to be looking at numbers so much, but um, I, I thought that was a milestone that once we hit it, we can have a celebration as well um, and maybe do, do a giveaway. I don't do as many giveaways as I used to. Um, but we can figure out something, I'm sure. Anyway, um, thanks so much for coming today. I hope you have a wonderful day off. Um, oh, the hippie van. I saw that. I think that's from Dreamy Tree. It was a sardine. Oh. I want to do something that will make you get joy from me that make me get joy from i my joy is usually with doing 3d like this i mean i love cards and other things but i usually like to do these 3d things and there are a couple that i really want to do this year um from svg cut so maybe i'll sort of slip them in um i was trying to stay with all cricket you know, designs. And then, then I started thinking, well, I'll do the designs that um, other people have done because I was not able to do them when I was working with Cricut. So I think you'll see more of these sort of things that, um, that are from other designers. It's so important to support these designers because they're so creative and, um, and all of that lovely stuff. So I'm thinking, yeah, Ardeen, I think I'll be back on Wednesday. 
I'm gonna try to figure this thing out because I cut it, I cut it out and I want to make it happen. And I followed the designer, but, and I was just like, ah, so I almost just chucked it. And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna figure this out and come back and show you guys how it works. So let's do that on Wednesday and then Friday. So back to three days a week. Sp hoping everything uh, everything stays calm for a while, so we'll do that. And I don't have my calendar in front of me, but um, I know this is sort of the last week for Owen, and then next week he'll be getting ready to get going. Oh, Ardeen, I'll tell you, I went into a slump myself. And, um, and so I'm glad to be back and I just got so much joy making this again that, um, that it was really a lot of fun. And um, I need to make tissue box covers because, uh, I, my mother threw mine away and I was like, what, why did you do that? Cause I had made it so that you could put the tissues right in there, take it out. But she just like broke it up. But anyway. Oh, well, you know, she didn't know. So anyway, um, that is, that's a color of my daughter-in-law's mixer. Yeah, I love these mixers and I love mixer cards and stuff. And this one is supposed, so I'm going to figure that out. And I'll see you back here on, on Wednesday. Okay, everyone. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, love you guys. I'm glad you could join me. I hope you have a lovely day off. Um, we're going to maybe go see the Little Mermaid. Um, my sister wants to see the Little Mermaid um, in the theater. So we're going to try to take my mother to see that today. Yesterday was kind of sad because my dad's gone. And so, um, so it was a little bit sad. But it was so great to see my family uh, members. The, you know, there's not many of us. And, and so I was able to see my uh, cousins and my cousin's new baby well she's not her baby my cousin's son's new baby so that was fun and and then to celebrate with Annalise my my uh I guess she's my second cousin because my cousin's it's my cousin's daughter so does that make it second or is it once removed I don't know but um yeah um, okay, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for coming and have a lovely day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.